Happy Birthday by Robbie H. Harris and illustrated by Michael Emberley. I'll never ever forget the moment you were born. Out pushed your head covered with wet and shiny hair. Then the rest of your wet and slippery body slid out and the doctors caught you with both hands. Suddenly there you were, a whole new person, our baby. We saw all of you from head to toe and we loved you the moment we saw you. You let out a loud cry, about as loud as a coyote howling at the moon. It was hard to believe that someone so tiny and new in the world could cry so loud. But you did. Your cry filled your lungs with air and you took your very first breath. Even though you were only a few seconds old, you were breathing on your own. You and I were still attached by a long twisty cord. For the nine months before you were born, food and air traveled from my body to yours through the cord. Now you didn't need the cord anymore. So the doctor quickly put a clamp on it and snipped it. Thank goodness neither you nor I could feel the snip. It didn't hurt at all. I reached for you and the doctor laid you in my arms. I was so happy to finally hold you. Your breath on my cheek felt as warm as toast and your skin against mine felt as soft as wrinkled velvet. Daddy kissed the top of your head and I kissed your cheek. Then the nurse quickly covered you with a blanket and slipped a hat on your head to keep you warm and dry. Your eyes opened slowly and you gazed at me for a long time. Moments later, the doctor took a good look at you and told us how healthy and how beautiful you were. The nurse put bracelets with our family name around your ankles so that everyone would know you were our baby. Then she quickly weighed and measured you, sponged you off and dried you and wrapped you up again. You stayed wide awake the whole time. Daddy scooped you up like a football and held you tight. You looked so cozy and peaceful. All bundled up in Daddy's arms, your thumb slid into your mouth and you sucked on it. And soon your eyes began to close. Being born must have been very hard work. Seeing light, hearing new sounds, feeling air on your skin, and just being brand new in the world. No wonder you were tired. While you slept, our best friends walked in with a furry stuffed bear for you. Your great aunt wheeled in a bright red tricycle. Your cousin brought you a drawing of her dog, and your uncle couldn't stop snapping pictures of you. Everyone was so happy and so excited to finally meet you. You began to whimper, and suddenly you were awake. I picked you up, and you, and you snuggled into my shoulder, but then your lips began to quiver, and you opened your mouth and cried. 
I thought you might never stop. But as I gently stroked your cheek, you took a big, deep breath and stopped. (gasps) Then you squiggled up your nose and began to nurse. You made such sweet smacking sounds. Daddy said you sounded like a baby goat. After you nursed, I held you over my shoulder and rubbed your back. You burped. It was a loud one. Soon after that, you peed and pooped. Daddy changed your diaper and you sneezed twice. Then you began to hiccup. All that noise made us laugh. We were amazed that someone so little could make so many noises and do so many things at once. Finally, you yawned and fell asleep again. And it was so quiet. That evening, Grandma and Grandpa came to meet you. They talked to you about all the splendid things you and they would do together. Go to the movies, eat ice cream, make snow angels, paint pictures, bake cookies, catch fish, build sand castles, ride bikes, and fly kites. Even though you were less than one day old, they loved talking to you. Late that evening, Daddy counted all your fingers and toes just for fun. Then he slipped his big hand around your little hand and you grabbed his finger. You held on so tight. That's when we found out how strong you were. Soon, Daddy fell fast asleep. You fell fast asleep, too, still holding on to Daddy's finger. I looked at you, snuggled in between Daddy and me, and I kissed you both goodnight. You were only a day old, but you didn't seem so new anymore. I felt as if I had known you forever. Happy birthday, I whispered to you, and soon I fell fast asleep too.